Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. Teacher, yesterday I couldn't connect to my class because in the whole zone there was no internet connection. Yeah, they told me about that. I'm sorry that happened. Yeah, I was so sad because I needed in my with my mobile data I couldn't connect. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's complicated, but here we are. Okay, here we are now, and you can catch up a little bit uh, by watching the the class, right? The video, uh, especially the parts that are related to the explanation, right, of the of the content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. So, but that won't affect me. I think that just one session. In no. No, in your attendance, no, because remember that you need a minimum of the 80% of the attendance. I don't know how many classes mm -hmm. that would be, but, but just one, I don't, won't affect you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, yeah. well, that's okay then. Yeah, that's that's true. That's right. So, uh, Diana, Carla, Mariela, Jackie, I see Rolando, Laura, Hello, Francisco, and Juan Jose. Now Elizabeth is connecting. <laughs> good evening. What's your favorite color, guys? Juan Jose? Juan Jose Avalos Campos. What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color. Yep. My favorite color. Yeah, color. That's right. Uh, it's a light blue. Light blue. Light blue. Oh, interesting. Diana? Uh, yes, light blue. 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 Okay, Francisco? I cannot hear you, Francisco. For some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's a problem with the microphone or with the earphones. So check the the, the settings of the audio, maybe that's the reason why. I oh, still not, not hear you. Maybe if you, if you disconnect and just use the, the regular uh, microphone from the computer, that will work. Maritza, good evening. What's your favorite color? Good evening. Maritza? Good evening. What? What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is orange. Orange. Okay, nice. Like Aguila. Uh, um, one with no, Mariela. No. <laughs> Mariela, can you hear me? Hi, yes. Hello. Yes. What's your favorite color? That's a quick question. Um, purple. Purple, okay. Um, let me check, Carla. So we have color, different colors. Good evening. What's your favorite color, Carla? In the case, green. Green, green. and black. Green and black, okay. Jackie? My favorite color is white. White. That's not so common that people say that my favorite color is white. Interesting. Uh, I, I like because you can uh, combine. It's with correct. Uh -huh, you can okay. combine it with different colors. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Teacher. Actually, white is the base for the rest of the colors. So, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Very good. Harbin? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. I have two favorite colors are green and blue. Really? Those are my favorite colors, too. <laughs> High five okay. for that. <laughs> okay, let's continue <laughs> with four. Floridalma, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. What's your favorite color, for? I have two favorite colors. Um, Which ones? Pink and black. Pink and black. Good combination. 
Uh, Brenda? Yeah. Okay, let's White. see. White. <laughs> okay, Jackie, you have a partner yeah. here. Okay, next one yeah. is Rolando. <laughs> I don't know if Rolando can use the microphone right now. I think he's working, so not so sure. Uh, he's red. Okay, he's using the chat. Very good. So, Laura, what's your favorite color? <clears throat> good night, teacher. And my favorite color is blue. Blue. Okay, yes. good. Elizabeth, thank you, Laura. Okay. Suleyma? I'm here, teacher. Hello. And my What's... favorite color is yellow. <laughs> yellow. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, I, the question came to my mind because I saw different color shirts and I was like, okay, I'm going to ask them that. Uh, Francisco said that his favorite color is moonlight. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that sounds sophisticated. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, that would be kind of white, right? Uh, let's see. Yanari, can you hear me? Jennifer? Teacher, I'm here. Okay, Jennifer, what's your favorite color? Uh, purple. Purple, okay, purple. Yeah, it was strange. Nobody had mentioned that, right? That often. Uh, Beatriz, good evening. What's your favorite color? Uh, good evening, teacher, and good evening, everybody. My favorite color is blue. Blue, okay. Yes. Welcome to the blue team. Okay, so we're uh, almost ready. I, we got 17, that's good number to start. We're going to, uh, well, I'm going to share the screen with you quickly so that we can catch up with uh, yesterday's class, right? Okay, so uh, what do you remember from yesterday's class, everybody? We what were doing we do? an, e an in index for the, the, the manual procedures. Okay, that's correct. And that's also what Rolando shared through the chat, right? Uh, we talked about index uh, for the man well procedure manual and we have different steps, right? Or different procedures that can be performed at a restaurant. So we continue with the restaurant, okay? But uh, today we're going to be more specific about food. So uh, today we have the part two, right? How to use would be better. Uh, let me, so you, we, we did that. You also uh, defined, right? You gave a definition to the terms, to the different procedures with your own words, with the help of a dictionary or Google that is, all the students best friend right uh, yeah i think that everybody should mention uh, google in their acknowledgement when they, when, when they graduate <laughs> right i want to thank my mom my father my google so um so we're going to um move on okay uh, that's basically what you were doing yesterday you were also uh, creating the index according to your opinion right so everybody had a different idea about the correct order or the priorities in the procedures uh, for some people safety was very important for some others uh, the dress code was important for some others uh, it was more important the customer service or how to address the customers right so uh, practice vocabulary, pronunciation, okay? We were having, obviously, the, the speaking activities that we do. And today we have some more, okay? We have a couple of uh, new activities that we're going to be doing, and I hope you like them, right? So first of all, I'm going to, uh, what? 
Have you ever have you ever played Sorry. have you ever played the hang, hangman? Oh, oh what no, is no. Hangman? no. What, what does hangman mean? Yes. What does hang okay? Wait, I'm going to show you a picture better. I'm here. Hi Ruth. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, I'm going to show you one. Wait a second. I uh, will use this image right here. A second with a Rolando, second. Rolando wrote it in the chat. In the chat. Okay, that's right. So I was going to show you the, the image just in case. In Spanish is our call, but the traduction is like hombre colgado. Exactly. So, okay, so here it is. Okay, so yes. That's the hangman, right? Just in case you didn't know. So I'm going to share the screen uh, quickly with you so that we can play. There are five words that are related to what we have been studying, right? So they are, they're not new words for you and you will have to guess them. So how are you going to play the game? Well, we're going to play it by, create, by dividing the class into two parts, okay? So, um, give me a second, here. Right here. Uh, sure sound, maybe. Yes, okay, perfect. Can you see the hangman now? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Yes. So I'm going to uh, divide you according to the way that you appear in the attendance here. So from, okay, Jennifer, Juan Jose, Ana, um, well, Ana Beatriz and Ana Elizabeth, Diana, Flor, and Francisco, you will be the team number one. Francisco and Freddy's. I'm going to include Freddy's uh, in the team number one with Laura. So I repeat, Laura, Freddy's, Francisco, Flor, Diana, Elizabeth, Beatriz, Juan Jose and Jennifer, you are the team one. Okay, I'm going to call you the Avengers. Now, uh, <laughs> from Harbin, okay, Harbin, Karen, Maritza, Mer Merlin, uh, Rolando, Ruth, Suleyma, Jessica. Oh, this team is bigger. Okay, uh, Mariela, Brenda, Caroline, Jackie, you are going to be the Justice League. So this will be interesting. Who will win? Now, uh, every team is going to have uh, a chance, right? A chance to get the word. So you will have just a, let me check, four or five. Mm, I will say four. You will have four chances to say a letter. Five. And after those four chances, now I can hear you. After those four <laughs> chances, you will have to guess the word. If you don't get it, the opposite team will have the chance to get the point. Okay, so okay. it's one point per word. We have five, so it's two and two plus a bonus question. So we start with the Avengers. What is the first letter? But okay. it's related with something special? It's related with the vocabulary that we have been using in the, in the last classes. Okay, oh. so it's not okay. new vocabulary. Mm, okay. So, it can be, you have only the opportunity to say one letter, okay, for your team. So we have four different participants in every word. Okay, Diana, you say one letter, and then Francisco, another letter. Okay, you can raise your hand, right? Okay, okay. Karen, sorry. Karen, you are in the Justice League. So right now, this word is just for the Avengers. So <laughs> Karen, Brenda, no, you cannot participate in this one. 
the next one. Yes. So, uh, what is the letter, Diana? A. A. No. Oh, Francisco. Ah, sorry. Oh. You already have one chance. Uh huh. Oh. You said no. oh, or it was an expression. Okay. <laughs> E. E. Yes, there's one E. So you have two chances now. Uh, okay, Avengers, Jennifer, Juan Jose, Beatriz, Elizabeth, Flor, Freddy's, Laura. I think I'm going to include three. Marvin in this team because there are too many, too many people in their team. So, uh, Flor, what is the letter? I. I. No. Laura. It's not an expression. No. Letter O. Yes. Oh. So use, you use your four chances. Now you have to guess what word it can be. My if God you don't get it, the Justice League will try. So it has three, six, seven, eight letters. Yeah. I know. No. Wait, wait, Brenda, Brenda, wait. You are in the in the Justice League, so you have to wait. So five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Avengers. End game. No. no. Okay, no. we we'll give the chance to know. one person from the Justice League, Brenda. Customer. Customer. <laughs> yes, that is correct. So uh, uh, too we, easy, too easy. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> Why you didn't say anything? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one point for no, but but Brenda is in your team, uh Rolando. <laughs> She's, she's with you, so. Very nice, Brenda, very nice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you have to be happy. Let me check. I'm going to write down uh, one point for the Justice League. Now we continue with the Justice League. So the next word is for you. Okay, uh, let me check. What is it? I have too many windows open. New word. Okay. So four letters, four chances. Raise your hand if you want to you if you want to say one letter, okay? Uh, Justice League. Okay, uh, Brenda, it's one. Uh, you didn't give a pista, nothing. No, no clues. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Brenda, Rolando. Okay, we need two more volunteers. Brenda, begin, begin with the vowels. Got it yeah. and root. Okay. Try try to the vowels. So okay. E. E. Yes, there are two. Oh, very nice, Brenda. That was a good one. Okay. Uh Rolando. A. A. Oh no. Karen. S. S. Yes. Yes. <laughs> One is. Oh, uh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, Ruth. <laughs> o. Oh, yes, there's one O. So the four chances are over. Now you have to guess the word. Justice League, you have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is I over. can try. You only have one chance. Only one chance. The first word that you say is the one that I will take. Which one? You will try, Brenda? I have a word, but I don't know. You try, Rolando. Uh, no. You don't have oh, any? No. Oh, no, if no, nobody have any, go. I can try. Do it Brenda, now. Time is up. Hmm? Time is up, so you have to say something. Okay. Properties. What? Properties. Sorry, Brenda, I didn't hear you well. <laughs> Property. 
No. No procedures. No. Procedures. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Sorry. No, no. Uh, well, in this case, uh, the Avengers have the opportunity to say the word. Procedures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was proceeding. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so Sorry, one and one, one and one. Me. Very good. Don't worry. We're tied. We're tied. Okay, so procedure. Just a big one point, Avengers one point. No problem. We continue. Next one. Now, Avengers. Mm -hmm. Four volunteers. Okay. Everybody has to participate. Okay. Don't forget to lower your hand. No se le olvide bajar la mano. Okay, uh, so Francisco. Okay. Okay. Who else? Hey. Okay, so A. Yes, there are three A's. Wow. wow. That was really good. Uh, okay, Juan Jose. Um, e. E. There are two E's. <laughs> You're gonna get it just with the four letters. Okay. Uh, next one. Um, uh, let me check who's here. Beatriz. M. M. No. One more letter. One more chance. Mariela? Uh, appearance. Wow, are you sure? Don't you prefer to say one letter and then you say the word? It's more, you have one, it's one more, more letter. One, one letter more, one letter more. Okay, okay. Then... What letter? Um, C? C, yes, you have the letter C. So, are you sure you want to keep that word? Appearance. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, Time's up. Yes. Yes, they say yes. And that is correct. So one point for yes. Awesome. Okay, you, you can use the reaction. You. <laughs> Good. So uh, appearance. That's one of the words that we learn with dress code, right? So let's move on. Now, Justice League, you have one word. Four new volunteers, okay? Four new volunteers for the Avengers. So I'm going to give the chance to Carla. Can you say one letter, please? Carla, Janari, Suleyma. I, the letter A. Letter A. No, sorry. Maritza? Can you hear me? Uh, I yes, some, I can hear you. I'm sorry, I have some issue with my microphone. I don't know what, okay. what happened. Mm, okay, letter C? Letter C. Yes, there's one letter C. Hola. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Maritza? Um, I. I. Oh, one more chance. One more chance. Justice League. Um, I don't know. Suleyma or. Uh, Ar well, no, Harvey is in their team. Jackie, maybe? M. M or N? M like M. as in mom or N as in nothing? As mom, as, as, mom, mom. as monkey, as in mom. Oh, oh no. So, Justice League, I'm afraid that you have to guess the word. Try to guess the I word only with one letter. I think that I know the, the, the word. Okay. I think this you have one chance. Five, four, e. three, two, one. Time's up. What do you think is the word? Or what do you think the word is? 
can say. Yeah. A counter. Accountant. <laughs> but we don't have the letter A. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, so, Avengers, you have the chance to guess that word. Is uh, casual. Are you sure? Schedule. Mm. How do you spell it? Schedule. S. Schedule. S. Yay. C. We. H. 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 E. H. E. E. B. B. U. U. L. Yeah, that's right. My God, Diana. So it's schedule. Wow, that was. Really good, Jennifer got it. So that was amazing. Okay, only with one letter, that was difficult. Yeah. To be honest, that was difficult. So uh, there is one word that we're going to do it together. Okay, so different volunteers. Uh, Freddie, give me one letter. The e. Letter E. Yes, we have two E's. Uh, Harbin, one letter, please. S. S. Yes. That's nice. Okay, it's going to be easier or faster. Uh, I don't know. Wait a sec. <laughs> I'm going to give one more chance. Uh, let's see who's missing. I don't know, Merlin, uh, Gennady, or Elizabeth? R. R. Yes, that's correct. So, uh, I think everybody participated already, so that's great. Uh -huh. um, so, Freddy says that it's, it can be personnel. Do you agree with that? Yes. yes. I agree. Let's try it out. So, yes. the first way is letter P, right? Okay. Then O, and then? M. 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 N. N. Double, double N, right? Double oh, N. N -E -L. L. That's right, bingo. So, excellent. Let's go on. Class for everybody. Okay, so Avengers, you win. Let's see. For the Avengers fans, you can celebrate now. <laughs> so, we go back to the presentation. Okay, so uh, those are the words that we were trying to practice in the in the game, right? Procedures, personnel, schedule. What was the other one? Appearance. Appearance, okay, appearance, very good. So uh, personnel, that's right. So we're going to move on and I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but we need to talk about food. I need you to practice speaking. But this time is going to be different. Why? I am not going to ask you the questions. You are going to select the questions to talk about with your partner. Okay, it will be in uh, small groups, groups of three. And uh, I will share with you a link through the chat. So you can open the link, see the questions. And during the time that I give you, you can ask the questions that you want. You can modify the questions if you want, that's possible too. Uh, but you will have a lot of options. Okay, a lot of options. So let me share the link with you through the chat. You can copy that. Wait a second. It's not working. Okay, now. Wait up. There it is. So there are like, I don't know, like 50 questions about related to food. So, uh, well, more than 50 questions probably. So you can ask each other the questions that you want or that you like. The idea is that you practice speaking, 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 asking and answering different questions, okay? Nonstop. Uh, like if you are attacking your classmate, right, with questions. So you can just go like a roulette, right? So Rolando can ask a question to Floor, Floor can ask a question to Laura, Laura to Rolando, and you go like that, right? One and one. Um, 
So, copy the link. Uh, okay, okay, got it. So you can copy the link, open it, and in the breakout rooms, you you use it, right? To check the questions and ask uh, to your classmates. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms quickly. Um, it will be, let me check before I go to the breakout room. I, I'm going to check who's here right now and who's not. Okay, so uh, Freddy's, are you there? Yes or no? Freddy's? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Blanca? I think Blanca was not here. Maybe she had an inconvenience. Um, Jackie? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Uh, next one is Yanari. I'm here. Great. Uh, Suleyma is, okay, she wrote in the chat. Ruth? I'm here. Orlando? I'm here. Okay, Miguel Angel? Make it today, so we'll continue with Maritza. I hear teacher. Okay, Merlin. Okay. I'm here. Nice. Karen. Here. Juan Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Arvin, okay, perfect. Arvin? Present, teacher. Present. Very good. Uh, Laura? Francisco? Present. Lord? I'm here, teacher. Diana? Me? Present. Carla? Okay. Here, teacher. Uh, Brenda? I'm here. Mariela? I'm here. Elizabeth? I'm here. Very nice. Beatriz? I'm here. There you go. So uh, I already created the breakout rooms. You are going to join one of them. And you will have exactly, you will have exactly, listen carefully, seven minutes. So you have enough time to ask as many questions as possible. Okay, lucky seven. So right now it's, let's say it's 8.33. So at 8.40, we're coming back to the session. Okay, so ready, We have set. to take notes about this conversation or something. Uh, not really, not really. Just okay. try to pay attention to your classmates. Um, and what I'm going to ask you is just what questions you remember that you were asking in the conversation. Okay, okay. so here we go. What? So the invitation, please join the breakout room.
-huh. What are you doing, ladies? I'm trying to share my <laughs> Your screen. Okay, now yes. it is started sharing. Okay, perfect. So can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes. No. <laughs> Uh, I, I saw a, a, a question here that, uh, like me, it's the, it is one. Are you there any foods that you wouldn't eat as a child that you eat now? Are there any food that you would eat? Um, let me see. Maybe seafood for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, mm -hmm. yes, I have. Which one? I like, I like onion. Get up early today. Then when I get sleepy in the world, I drink coffee. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> that teacher drinks coffee all day too. <laughs> yeah, that's my first drink after water. <laughs> <laughs> My first drink is Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> after the water. I, uh, after the water, that's right. Um, so, did you eat lunch see. today? Yeah, I did. Kind of late, but I did. It's nice. Okay. And do you cook? Instructions, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I hear that we have to choose a question from the website that she he sent to us. He sent us, and I already choose. You choose the questions that you like, and you ask to anybody. So Anna can ask Maritza, Maritza can ask Jennifer, Jennifer can ask Beatrice, right? So you go like that. Okay. Or you ask a question, anybody can answer. Okay, anybody can answer. But the idea is that the three of you practice and asking and answering questions. Different okay. questions. Okay. And Marixa, when this day when you got when when you were mm -hmm. a child, when you were a child, the apple don't like. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, but really now I like friendly. them. <laughs> I don't know why. Really, because the apple is is, is nice. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I will ask. An, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. They say. <laughs> okay, I will ask to Juan Jose. Uh, do you have any favorite ca cafe? And if so, where is it? And why do you like it? Um, uh, what favorite Co coffee? Cafe. Cafe. The place. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Starbucks or Ben's okay. Coffee. Okay. Um, or Bam Bam. No, I, I, I don't have any favorite uh, place to drink uh, coffee. Um, uh, always uh, that I drink coffee it, it would be in uh, any place in Compero, if I want to coffee, I drink coffee in Compero, for Compero. So it's a place that you uh, uh, you visit Compero regularly? Uh, no, no, it's not, not really, usually. Not so much. It's not okay. usually. Uh, but uh, um, with my uh, wife, like the coffee, and every place that we are going to eat, she drink coffee. And me too. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. I... Ruth, uh, do you eat bread every day? Mm. Uh, occasionally, uh, but only in the night, in the night, uh, like bread, but I don't know, pan dulce. Sweet bread, okay. Sweet bread. Yes, <laughs> yes but so only uh, in the night, uh, but this occasionally, like okay. uh, 
I don't know, two or three times in the week. Mm. With coffee? Yes. Coffee or with milk? Okay. Always with coffee. I, I drink coffee in the morning and afternoon, the night. I don't know. Wow. You're a coffee holic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. And you, Harvey? That question is a little bit funny to me because I, I am not a, a vegetarian person, but I have some co worker that they try to live like that. And always we win when to out to take a food. And we have to shoot a, a, a special restaurant because and any restaurant has an, an a special dish for vegetarian person. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, vegetarians, vegetarians, uh, vegetarians have a, a hard time finding places to eat. Yes, just the vegans, vegans, vegans are worst. The vegans are worst because they don't eat anything that comes from animals. No cheese, no eggs, no milk. It's uh, more difficult. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, Fisher, however, uh, this person uh, do not eat uh, animals or products for the animals. Animals, however. No. however uh, when they buy some product, for example, a wallet is pros procede? Comes, comes from. Come from uh, some animals. Yeah, some. it's complicated, <laughs> it's complicated, yes. yeah. Yes. Uh, and different place. <laughs> Do you yeah. eat breakfast every day? No, I try Why not because it's healthy. But in the morning, I I I usually don't 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 Take feel breakfast. don't don't um, don't you don't feel hungry. hungry. You're uh -huh. not hungry in the morning. Yes, uh, <laughs> but I try. Yes, I, I, it, it could be spent, I don't know how, how many. If the internet have problems, I can connect with my cell phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so actually it's the place where you live, you have best in. Or... Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> we talk about food. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was like internet. Uh... Yeah, like this guy here is talking about what they're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we're about to finish. Anna, do you write every day? Repeat, please. Do you eat rice every day? No, um, almost every day. Almost every day. Yeah. In the lunch. In my case, sometimes. was very interesting teacher all right so i think almost everybody's back you need Everybody. more time i know i gave you i gave you more time than i told you because i saw everybody was was talking but yeah when we're talking it, especially if you have a lot of different options uh, for questions it's mm -hmm, yeah yeah so you don't have to think too much about what can I ask, right? It's just about answering. <laughs> yes. uh, we, we need more time to eat. <laughs> I, 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 I say to, to talk. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I was going to tell you like, yeah, we need more time to eat, but not in, not in the class, right? Uh, <laughs> so uh, what questions were you asking? Okay, I'm going to ask a couple of questions to the room number one. We had uh, 
Mariela, Freddy's, and I don't remember who else was there. It was someone else with you, right? But okay, so Freddy's or Mariela, what are two questions that you discuss in the in the group? I asked her if she drinks coffee today in the morning. She said yes. Okay, the coffee questions were several. Uh, another one? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll, uh, uh, we got some people back. Um, what food do you hate? The food that you hate. Okay, got it. Uh, in the room number two, we have Beatriz, Jennifer, and Maritza. Can you mention two questions that you discussed? I asked about what kind of food that did she like. Okay, you're gonna find the kind of food that you like. Okay, specific kind of and, food that you and like. And Mar in, yeah, and Maritza told me she liked vegetables and Jennifer liked uh, all kind of all, all kind of food and okay. yeah okay excellent thank you so much room number three Diana Juan Jose and Janari mention two questions that you discussed please I asked to Juan Jose if he has any favorite cafe and he said that he doesn't and uh, whatever he can drink coffee, he, he likes the place. Okay, especially if it is with his wife, right? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so his favorite coffee place I, is the place where his wife is. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I uh, asked to Diana about the, is, um, um, are there any food that uh, you wouldn't eat as child, but you eat in and out? And, say, mm -hmm. uh, and she said, that apple uh, when when she was uh, were um shy uh, don didn't eat um apple but in this moment yes <laughs> now she likes it for some reason diana didn't like apples as a child but now she does okay perfect the baby. that was that was a that was a, an interesting question right Food that we didn't like but now we do um, okay, the room number four, we have Brenda, Laura, and Ruth. Okay. Two questions that you discussed. Hi, teacher. Okay, yeah. oh, okay. I'm sorry, Brenda. Sorry, sorry. Do you? Okay, thank you. Okay, we discussed uh, the, uh, the questions. Um, can you cook well? And oh. <laughs> and do you eat bread every day? Okay, cook well. Uh, raise your hand if you think that you can cook well, please. I want to have an idea about how many chefs we have here. Okay, one, two, three. A happy face. Okay. <laughs> Four, five, six people think that they can cook well, and Freddie's laughing. I don't know what that reaction means, Freddie. I'm a bad chef. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So six people say that they can cook well. Excellent. So so. Okay, so so. Um, or as people say, right? Well, I'm not a chef, but people don't die when I cook, right? So uh, that's. An advantage, right? That's that's something. Now we're going to move on with the group number five. In the group number five, we had a well, it was six. Uh, Carla, Francisco, and Harvey. Can you mention two questions that you discussed, please, or something that you discovered that was surprising for you? For example, in one room, I was surprised. Well, I think we're going to get there in a moment. But I, uh, something that was surprising is that somebody said that she didn't usually eat breakfast because she was not hungry in the morning. So that was interesting, right? Because it's 
a lot of people think differently, right? They usually have breakfast and they prefer to skip, I don't know, dinner, right? Um, but everybody's different. So, Carla, Francisco, or Harvin? Okay, teacher, the question that we are discussing was, uh, where, sorry, uh, are you a vegetarian? And, ah, are you a vegetarian, huh? And uh, at what time do you eat your meals? Okay, uh, is anybody a vegetarian here in this group? Yes, no? Or somebody who tried to be, but <laughs> it was impossible? I love meat. You love meat, okay, you're carnivorous. Uh, <laughs> a meat eater, that's right. Okay, so Francisco and somebody else said that they love meat. Okay, so uh, let me check. The last one is Floor, Jackie and Karen. We were discussed about, uh, do you always eat dinner with your family? And Jackie try, <laughs> and Flor, uh, I don't remember if, if if you answered this question, Flor, but I I made the question. Ah, <laughs> you made the question. Yes. So in my in my case, um, the dining room is a decoration at home. We don't use it. Everybody eat whatever they want. Yeah, it is complicated to get used to that, especially with the life that we have, right? So yeah. um, I don't know, but I imagine that, uh, well, it was a little bit uh, interesting to hear everybody's opinion because we have differences, even though we know that everybody eats, but we have our own likes and dislikes, right? And our own curious things. Now, we're going to move on. Uh, I'm sorry that you had to talk about food. But I promise, I promise next week we forget about food, okay? We're going to talk about something else that is tempting. <laughs> uh, let's continue. Maybe traveling, right? So we're going to, I want to share the screen with you quickly. Continue with the next part. So uh, how to use, how to use, uh, would be better right, how to use it. So uh, we have been using this uh, in different sessions, right, in conversations, in the examples, in the exercises, but we haven't studied directly how it is used, uh, but it's necessary. So uh, what better is used to express a strong advice or suggestion, okay? That is the key word, strong, okay, strong advice. Uh, for example, strong advice can come from our boss, right? Uh, or from you to your children or from your parents to you, right? So it's usually like that, right? Um, so, uh, of course, it's not something mandatory. It's just advice or suggestion, but you know that sometimes those advice or suggestions are a nice way to say, do it or don't do it like this. Um, so this, the, this structure is simple, right? We use a subject plus would be better plus the infinitive, infinitive verb. When I say infinitive verb, I'm just talking about the base form of the verb. That is the preposition to plus the verb without modification. For example, a, it would be better, in my opinion, right? It would be better uh, to avoid avoid giving children technological devices until they are five or six years old. It would yeah. be better. It would be better. Okay. Uh, to avoid giving technological devices like cell phones or tablets to kids until they are five or six. In my opinion, that would be better. Now, uh, 
if you ask me, teacher, what advice or suggestion can you give us to improve uh, our speaking, right? I would say, well, it will be better uh, to find, well, it would be better uh, to find uh, a conversation partner or to uh, expose yourself more to the language. Expose myself more, what do you mean? Okay, if you read something, try to read in English. If you have your cell phone, change the, the settings to English. So everything in your cell phone is in English. The computer, the same thing. If you watch the news, watch the news in English. If you like movies, watch the movies in English. If you like uh, music, okay, forget about music in Spanish for a moment and try to listen to music in English. Uh, if you write down some ideas in your notebook, try to write those ideas in English. So that is exposing to the language. Ah, okay, got it. Uh, do you think it would be better to use subtitles or not? What do you think? Maybe in the same language, like English subtitles with movies in English. Okay, so you say it would be better to use subtitles, but with, but in English, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but in English. So that would be something that I would recommend you, right? Uh, if you want to improve your listening, right, you can start using subtitles in English and the language in English. And later you eliminate subtitles, right? Uh, so it's a process, it's a process, little by little. Uh, what do you think would be better to use a dictionary, uh, Spanish to English, a bilingual dictionary or to use a monolingual English to English dictionary? English to English. Okay, it would be better to, English to, English to use an English to English dictionary. And I don't know either uh, uh, the Spanish, but occasionally maybe. Yeah, so it would be better to use an English English to English dictionary, right? Um, it would be better. So uh, that's basically what I'm what I'm trying to explain here. So um, examples, we have examples. Uh, I need a volunteer to read the first example, please. Someone. Okay, Jennifer. And then uh, Beatriz. And then Ruth. So, Jennifer, read example number one. It could be better to let the employees decide what process to change. What processes, in plural, right? Processes to change. Processes to change. Excellent. It would be better to let the employees uh, decide what processes to change. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, uh, I could try again. Yeah, sure. It would be better to let employees decide what processes to change. Excellent. Okay, so repetition is good. Okay, then the next one is Beatriz. Example number two. It could be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Okay, it would be better to let a manager, let a, right, let a manager uh, take care of the situation. Situation, that word, it was difficult for me at the beginning when I was, yeah, I said situation and then they told me, no, situation. Uh, okay, situation. situation. Yeah, you can say situation, right? But yeah, that, it's like a sh sound there. Um, and the, there are other expressions that we can use to provide suggestions or alternatives. Okay, so there are options. Peter, uh, oh, sorry, can you please repeat how we can pronounce correctly situation? Situation, situation, yeah, situation, situation. So that's like a shoes in the middle. Um, so Ruth, can you please read the alter the three alternatives that we have in the in the example here? Number one. Uh, number one. Uh, would you prefer? Would you prefer? Uh huh. Number two. Uh, wouldn't it be better to? Wouldn't it be better to? And number three. It would be good if. It would be good if. Okay. Excellent. So example. We have an example here. Maritza, can you please read the example? Uh, 
right here. It will be it will be good if we had a professional to complete the, the manual. It would be good if we had a professional to complete the manual. So uh, right now I need you to think, okay? Because normally we have examples or I give you some ideas, but I want you to think about uh, what questions can you ask, okay? I need you to create three questions, three questions. Okay, I will give you time. Three questions, one using, would you prefer? One using, wouldn't it be better to? And the last one, a, one example saying, it would be good if, okay? Or if you want to ask a question, you say, would it be good? Would it be good if? So I am going to mention my examples, okay? Would you prefer to work at home or at an office? Two. Wouldn't it be better to, uh, for example, to receive the class in person? Wouldn't it be better to receive the class in per this class in person? Just an example, right? We know that it's complicated too, if, we, if we think about that possibility. Um, would it be good, I'm going to use a question, would it be good if, uh, I start, uh, for example, as a teacher, right? If I start uh, asking students for more homework or giving students more homework, would it be good if I gave students more homework? Would it be good if I gave, if I gave, let's see, Lediera, right? If I gave students more homework, what do you think? So uh, those are three examples. So you can think about your own examples right now, please. Three can be two questions in one sentence or three questions, okay? So if you want to use, it would be good if as a question, it will, it will look like this. I will write it down. It'd be good. If and we use the verb in the past. In this case, we use the verb in the past. Uh, so, for example, would it be good if Perreo music disappeared? Would it be good? Sería bueno si desapareciera, right? Esa música. Would it be good? So it's an example, okay? I know that some people like that. <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, let me check. So I will give you uh, one more minute for you to think about one question. In the meantime, I... In the meantime, I'm, hello, Diana. Sorry, I sent it to the chat. The chat. No, that's okay. Actually, I was going to ask you to do that. So uh, so we can see all the questions. Yeah, when you have them ready, you can type them, right? Pay attention to the spelling, right, of the words and send them through the chat. Yeah, we haven't used the chat too much, so we're going to use it. And in that way, you have more ideas for questions, right? I am going to select some, okay? And we're going, to, I'm going to ask some people those questions, okay? So this is questions from you to you. Teacher. So when, when you have the three questions, you can send them through the chat, please. Uh, so the other you send only one example. Hello? Uh, sorry, could you, could you tell me an example from this, from this question? Okay, would you prefer to live in another country? Uh, would you prefer to? Uh -huh. Would you prefer? Would you prefer, yeah. Would you prefer? Uh, okay. You can say, would you prefer to or you? If it's only an example, we can use another subject in another 
a complement for the question? Uh, well, the subject, mm, not too much because we need the it. Okay, sería bueno. Uh, the complement, yeah, you, you write a different complement. And number two, wouldn't it be better to oh, would say, you wouldn't it be better to, I don't know, to speak more in class? <laughs> okay, wouldn't it be better to speak more in class? Uh, so that, and uh, would it be good if, would it be good if, um, the exercises in the platform were easier. <laughs> Would it be good <laughs> if the exercises were easier uh, or were less? Right. So that's an example. So please write the sentences in the in the chat. Would you prefer uh, to drink Pepsi or Coca Cola? Okay. Would you prefer cold or hard drinks? Okay. You prefer to have. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. You prefer to have, don't forget about the preposition, right? To travel by plane or by car? Uh huh. A car or a pickup? Wouldn't it be better to drink water instead of soda? Okay. That would be a compliment for that one. Good. Would you prefer tea or coffee? And definitely, I prefer coffee. <laughs> Yeah, if you use the two options and you don't use a verb, that is correct. You don't need to add something else. Would you prefer uh, traveling or sleeping? So you say like, I prefer sleeping. Uh, would you prefer uh, chicken or meat? Okay, excellent. Would it be good if we travel a lot during in our 20s, oh yeah, definitely. It's too late for me, but yes. Would you prefer cold or hot weather? Oh, Wonder Woman or Black Widow? Oh, that's a difficult question, but I will go with Wonder Woman. Okay, good. So I'm going to quickly check. Wonder Woman as a comic or as Gal Gadot? As Gal Gadot, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. She's one of a kind. Okay, let me check. I'm going to call out uh, Beatriz. Are you there? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Elizabeth? Mariela? I'm here. Brenda? I'm here. Carla? I'm here, teacher. Diana? Here. Four? I'm here. Francisco? Francisco? Okay. Present teacher. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Laura? Thank you. Present. Marvin? Present. Jennifer? Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Juan Jose? Thank you. Aaron? Present. Maritza? Present. Berlin? Miguel is not here. Rolando? I'm here. Ruth? I'm here. Suleyma? Janari? I'm here. Okay. Jackie? Present. And Freddy's. Right here. Okay, excellent. Uh, so I'm going to start reading the examples. As you can see in the chat, some of your classmates already shared their answers. 
some of the some of you send it directly to me and that's okay don't worry about it i'm going to read some questions anyways so uh check it would be better to have more hours in the day yeah i think so you prefer okay okay so question uh yanari would you prefer cold or hot weather I think she has some problems with the connection. With the connection, yeah, definitely. So uh, I'm going to ask Ruth, would you prefer hot or cold weather? Uh, neither of them. <laughs> neither of them, none of them. Okay. Yeah, it's like, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. Warm? Warm? Warm. Warm. Maybe. Warm. Uh, not warm too hot, weather. not too cold. Uh, in the middle. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, question for Francisco. Would you prefer to stay at home or to go out on the weekends? I prefer to stay at home. Stay home. Okay. Yes, um, stay home. So this is a really good question. Um, Karen, uh, wouldn't it be better to have better education than to have more influencers? Karen? I don't know. I, I don't understand the question. Okay, I'm going to modify it a little bit. Wouldn't it be better to have more professionals than influencers? Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. will be better. Okay. More education than influencers. Yeah, okay. So more professional than YouTubers or TikTokers, right? Yes. Okay, let's continue with the next one. These are some questions that... Um, Teacher, That's teacher. Jennifer, share teacher. with me. Uh -huh. Sorry, uh, I don't know if it is correct this question. Okay. Wouldn't it wouldn't be better to drink soda than water? Wouldn't it be better to drink soda than water? Wouldn't it be better to drink water than soda? I would say. <laughs> okay. I think that water than soda would be better. Yeah. First water and then soda. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, wouldn't it be better to drink water than soda? Uh -huh. uh, it would be good if the government invests more in education. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, so question for, let me check. Brenda, would you prefer to drink soda instead of coffee? Never. Never. Okay, you don't change coffee. Never. Uh, mm -mm. Okay, Harbin, would you prefer to walk home or to take the bus? I prefer to walk. To walk. Okay, perfect. Uh, next volunteer that I select, Carla. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Carla. Wouldn't it be better to eat vegetables uh, instead of fast food? Can you repeat me the question, please? Sure. Wouldn't it be better to eat vegetables than fast food? Yes, it could be. It would be better eat vegetables than uh, fast food. What is that? Fast food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Somebody said it would be good if we work at home from, from 
Monday to Wednesday and then Thursday to Saturday inside. Okay. I have another example that is good. It would be good if the work schedule was only from Monday through Friday. What do you think? People work only from Monday Wait. to Friday. Yeah. I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm going weekends. to I'm going to run for president. Yeah, that would be my proposal. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me check. So the next one, Juan Jose, question for you. Okay. Would you prefer a uh, traveling by bus or or driving? I prefer a uh, traveling one uh, driving. Driving because the it's very dangerous in <laughs> in, in, in the bus. <laughs> but if let's imagine that it it wasn't dangerous. If it weren't dangerous, what would you prefer, driving or traveling by bus? Um, I prefer driving. Driving, okay, good. Fast and furious, right? Uh, it would be good if people respected in the past, right? The traffic lights. That would all the traffic signs. Um, only four days a week. That is a proposal that Karen has. So it's better than my proposal. Okay, wait a second. We have a controversial question here. Uh, <laughs> would you like to get to be born uh, poor and die rich or born rich and die poor? I will ask this question to Diana. <laughs> uh, maybe <laughs> born as poor and die and as die rich. rich. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice, no more questions. Uh, <laughs> and no more comments. <laughs> yeah, no more comments about it. And okay, I will ask this question to Jennifer. Would it be better if we have you as a president? I don't get the question. Would it be better if I mean, in El Salvador, right? Would it be better if we had, if we had in the past, if we had you as a president? Would the country be better if we had you as a president? I don't think so. I no. think even, I, don't, I think that even when our president is not good at all, in my opinion, of course, we need someone who really, um, wants to improve our, our system first in education, then trying to um, to I have forget the word uh, disminuyendo decrease decrease the delinquency and also decrease the poverty because we have many problems as a country and I think there, there is many things to improve. Yeah, I agree um, with you. Maybe I'm not the, the person. <laughs> the ideal person right now, okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe in the future. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Have... Okay. Uh, Laura, uh, would you prefer a taco or a burrito? Um. I prefer a taco. <laughs> okay. I, taco. I, I, I would prefer I would prefer a taco. Okay, chicken taco. Uh, Jackie, wouldn't it be better to do exercise uh, in the mornings? Jackie? I think I think that it would be better. But in my case, I don't practice any exercise. Okay. So, but 
in this case, you're just expressing an opinion, right? You say, yeah, it will be better. Uh, so it's okay. Next one. Uh, question for Rolando. Would it be good if we went to bed early, earlier? Repeat. Would it be good if we went to bed earlier? For me, it's better. Yeah. To go to bed earlier, okay. Because I rest many times. Yeah, you rest more, that's correct. Okay, so I guess that we are almost done with the questions. I'm, I think I didn't ask any questions to some of you because of time and because we don't have more questions. Uh, let me check who's missing here. Floor, question for you. Floor, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, so um, wouldn't it be better to have a free transportation in our country? Yes, definitely will be better if we have. If we had, right, in the past, if we had, si tuviéramos. Okay, and uh, Beatriz, would you prefer a, watching a movie or watching series? Watching a series? I prefer watching a movie. Watching the movie, okay, more yes. than a series. That's correct. Okay, thank you so much. So I guess I asked everybody. So congratulations, reactions for everybody. Please, a big round of applause for you because your answers and the questions were, and the examples were really good. Let me, where are the reactions? Oh, here, perfect. So let's move on. Uh, I'm going to resume sharing. So we are on the same page. And these are the examples in how we can use would be better. Do you have any questions uh, about this explanation, about this practice that we have right now? Any comments? Is everything clear? Do you have some doubts? This is the moment for you to ask. Or as the lawyers or the judges say, right? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Teacher, Hello. when do when we we use the verb prefer after that we had to use another verb by using ing at the end, or we had to use an infinity form. Okay, that's a good question. In this case, it, it is possible. It is possible that you can use both. Okay, uh, for example, when I say, would you prefer traveling by bus or by car? So it is possible, uh, but you can say prefer to. Uh, I prefer to stay home than to go out. So it's possible to use both. But something that you have to remember, and this is very important, and the majority of the students have problems with this. Uh, when I say the majority of the students in general, here in China and everywhere. Uh, so is the when you use the preposition to, okay, or you need to use a verb in the infinitive, no modification. And if you are going to use a ing, it's not possible to use a preposition to with on, only with as few exceptions. So for example, you can say, I like to dance but it's not possible to say, I like to dancing. You can say, I like dancing, but it's not possible to say, I like dance. So you have two options, okay? In some cases you have two options, right? But generally you have two options. If you use ING, you don't use a preposition too. Uh, you can use other preposition. For example, I am interested in learning more. Uh, I take a shower before going to sleep. Before going to sleep. 
or you have the option of the infinitive. So, for example, eh, I don't want to work on the weekends. I don't want to work on the weekends. So that is one option, right? Uh, but if you say, I don't want work on the weekend, it's incorrect. I don't want working on the weekend, it's incorrect. So uh, in some cases it's possible, in some cases it's not. So you have to pay attention to that when you're using the language, right? So, uh, but the rule that you have to remember is that when you use a preposition to, we use the verb with no modification, the base form. Okay, not in the past, not in the future, no ing. Uh, Flor, question. Yes, when you use the verb in past, because you say, for example, we went to the bed or we had in past. Uh -huh, yeah. So uh, is with the example of it would be good if, it would be good if, for example, it would be good if uh, we had free transportation, free public transportation. It would be good. Sería bueno si tuviéramos. Okay. Uh, so we are using the conditional. Uh, that's another topic. Okay. But it's uh, for the, con the second conditional. Uh, that is a topic if you want to Google it. Right, second conditional, we use the, the verb in the simple past because it's something imaginary or not real or not possible. So for example, if I lived in the past, if I lived in San Salvador, I would suffer with the traffic. Uh, so, si viviera, but I don't live in San Salvador. So in, in that example, we use the, it, it would be good if we use the verb in the simple past. Uh, in the affirmative or negative, for example, it would be good if we didn't pay taxes. It would be good if we didn't pay taxes. Right? So, um, that's an Teacher. example. Uh -huh. uh, I just want to mention one thing. So I was also confused with the question that uh, Flor was telling, but it, I think the right way to say it's that, to clarify just like that, is par past participle, it's not past verb, past participle would it be? Right? Yeah, we have. Uh, we because have... if I say like, for example, if we had, si tuviéramos, mm -hmm. si tuviéramos, because in past, tener es si tengo, si tuve, sorry. So that's when the, the confusion come for me. Si yeah, the thing, the, si thing, the thing is that in, in English, we have base form, past form, and we have past participle. Uh -huh. So it's different than in Spanish, okay? So in this case, we use the past form, the simple past form. We don't use the past participle. So she was right. We use the past in English. In Spanish, that would be participial. But in English, the past participle oh. is the third form. It's another form. For example, with the verb no, go. No, but I was, with the I was go, asking the because there. Is went. Mm -hmm. And the past participle is gone. So, uh, and for this example that I'm using, we use only the past form, went. No, no, no. I was saying that just because the last part there. If we will, if it would be good if we had a professional like that in that sentence. Yeah. So it's the past. It's not the past participle. Yeah. So what I want to say is that in English is a little bit different than Spanish. It's a little bit different. So uh, yes, we use a simple past. Okay. In this example. So. Uh, Teacher, it would be good, for example, it would be good if everybody, all the people went to university. It would be good if all the people went to university for free. So that's example. We use a simple past of the verb go. So sería bueno mm -hmm. que todos fuéramos a la universidad gratuitamente. Uh, 
uh, it would be good if everybody went to the university for free. So that's the that's the explanation. Okay, the past participle we use it in another in another form uh, that I can I can explain you later if you want. Uh, somebody wanted to say something. Who was speaking? Laura, Jennifer. Okay. Yes, teacher. But it's just in this example. If when you use, it would uh, be good. Just ah, it would be good if when we have the if. Uh huh. If. Uh, for example, uh -huh. if if we say, wouldn't be better if I use the past. Yeah. That's right. Okay. If, 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 when is if I use the past. With the example of would, 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 would and be would. better, would, wouldn't, uh, if that is a past. Oh, yeah. so it then it would be better, always next verb is in past. Yeah, it would be better if, if, uh huh. Mm. Would, okay. if. So that is the second conditional. Okay, for example, if I say, uh, if I were a millionaire, if I were a millionaire, I would be happy. Or if I were a millionaire, I would teach for free. I would be happier, sería más feliz, because I'm happy even if I'm not a millionaire. So, uh, teacher, this is the famous segundo condicional that they yeah, say. Yeah, second conditional, uh, that's correct. Es el famoso segundo condicional. Uh -huh. uh, Jennifer, you had a question. Actually, I didn't have a question. I just wanna have what you just say that is the second conditional and it's a rule that the say, the verb is in past mm -hmm. yeah that's correct because we are talking about unreal situations that something unreal uh -huh. that maybe we wish but it's not yeah so for example how do you say how do you translate eh, sería bueno uh, que todos habláramos Dos idiomas. It could How be better if it would be good. Of, yeah, it would be good if all of if us, it, all of us, or everybody, or everyone, uh huh, speak English. In the past, I have forget the. What is the past of, of speak? Spoke. 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 At least, for lo menos, at least two languages. It would be good. Sería bueno. It would be good. Okay. So in the present, people say that only two languages is good. But if, now a lot of people are learning a third language. So I'm thinking, okay, I need to learn another language. So, um, but in the, in the present, it would be good that everybody spoke two languages, right? So Spanish and English, at least, at least. That's an expression to say al menos or por lo menos right at least i will write it down in the chat so you can copy that in your vocabulary list teacher for, no. for example if i say wouldn't be better if we want the lottery it's correct uh -huh. if we won the lottery si ganáramos with wouldn't it be better if we won the lottery? Uh -huh. If we won, if we won. But if you say, wouldn't it be better to? Ah, we are not using if, so it's not a conditional. It's a normal form, base form. Wouldn't it be better to win the lottery? Wouldn't it be better to speak two languages? Wouldn't it be better to, uh, to have a lot of money? Uh, wouldn't it be better to be free on the weekends? So yes, we use that in a lot of different examples. Okay, guys. So I, huh? So sorry, for in that example, if if no, is let me check. Wouldn't wouldn't be better if we won the lottery? Or in Spanish, how do you say? Sería mejor si ganáramos la lotería. Si ganáramos. 
Wouldn't it be better if we won the lottery? Yeah. In, if I say, will it, will it be better to win the lottery? Wouldn't it be better to win the lottery? No sería, me, no sería mejor ganar la lotería. Wouldn't it be better? No sería mejor ganar. Uh -huh. So we're using to, not if. The meaning is different. It's different because when you say, wouldn't it be better to win the lottery? It's possibility. When you say, wouldn't it be better if we won the lottery? It's a condition. Like, it's, si an alternative. Uh -huh. it's an alternative, exactly. And unreal, not very possible, right? <laughs> alternative. Uh huh. Yeah. In the movie Liar Liar, everybody won the lottery. <laughs> liar Liar, yeah. Or yeah, Bruce Almighty, right? So poderoso, so everybody yeah. can ask for something. So, uh, yes. well, I think that this was a very extended uh, discussion, but I like the questions, okay? I like that you ask questions, that you give ideas, because that's the way that you understand, right? And uh, these conditional topics are always a gap, I think, for everybody, mostly. Yeah. Even for teachers can be confusing when they don't, when the teachers are not accustomed to the conditionals. Uh -huh. In some cases, right? In some cases. So guys, we're going to move on to the exercise right now. You are going to have exactly mm, 10 minutes to complete this exercise in your notebook. So what do you have to do? Uh, Harbin, can you please read the indication for this exercise? Exercise number five. Yes. Put the word in the correct order to make sentences and question. Okay, that's right. Uh, Maritza, can you please read the example number one? Maritza, are you there? Okay. Uh, yes, okay. Example number one, you prefer to have wood a different schedule. What is the... the... Would you prefer... Hmm? Would you prefer, prefer to have a different schedule? You prefer to have a different schedule, okay, would. So you don't pronounce the letter L, right? You say would. Would you prefer, would, would you, would you, uh -huh, would you prefer to have a different schedule? Schedule? Yes, would, I would. would <laughs> or no, I wouldn't. You. I like my schedule. Uh -huh. So you are going to complete number two, three, four, and five. In your notebook, oh my God, These examples are the same as the homework in the okay. manual students. Mm -hmm. So please. In write the down platform. the examples in write down the examples in your notebook. You have oh a maximum God. of 10 minutes, but I think you time. will you will do it in less time, probably. So your time begins now. Okay. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, I can see the screen. Oh, now yes. Thank you.
So let me check. We have five more minutes. Forget about the order of the of the words, right? If it is a question, would would plus the subject, would it or would you? If it is a a negative sentence, it wouldn't, right? It wouldn't or I wouldn't. Uh, if it is a affirmative, it would or I would, right? Depending. Um, and then uh, we use better. Better to, it wouldn't be better to, would it be better to? Okay, now I am going to send you to the breakout rooms for the next three minutes so that, well, three or four minutes so that you can check or compare with a partner, okay? And you can discuss in case you have a different answer or you have some doubts, you can discuss, okay? Why this is correct, why this is not correct. Okay, so four minutes will be enough. Um, it will be with the same people that you were working in the previous exercise. Okay, so you can join the breakout room now. Okay, join the breakout room. You already got the invitation. Good, Carla, Freddy, Jennifer, Jessica, Juan Jose. Have, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Yeah, I, I write in the same form. I read the number two. Would it be good if we change the dress code? Change. Yes. Uh, change. change the dress change. code. Uh, dress code. Red. What do you think, Ana? Number two. Yo la tengo. Would, would it be better to re revise the manual before printing? And the question mark at the end. El signo, al final. The question mark at the end of this uh -huh. question. Pero esa va normal. Yeah. Si va, and va what about number three? 
Jennifer? It would be good if we change the dress code. Okay. Marixa, and what about number four? It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. Okay. Jennifer, the last one. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Before yes. the beach. Yes, it's, it's, it's it hard. Better to. I have to say, wouldn't it be better to better to revise the manual before to printing? Yes, is the correct or I need to, to change? You need to change the it before the, the B. Okay. This? Before. No, no, before. no, before, before. Wouldn't it be? Yes, good and it. Good. It good to be. But in the platform, you have to make a space between the word and the question mark. Mm. It's a, a, a mistake that has the platform because it's next to the word, always as with the oh, grammar. Right? You put um, space. a space. Um, yeah, you have to put a space. Oh, let a space. You leave a space okay. and then the question mark. That is a question number five, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Five, I think. Would mm -hmm. it be better yeah. to let, uh, to, wouldn't it? But I think number two is, in, is, in, is not correct. Yeah, uh, it, this is it. it, no, it right. Two. Oh, yeah, oh. that would be it would, uh, a sentence. Mm -hmm. Good. No, but the number two is missing the letter, the word B. Would it wouldn't be? It, yeah. Wouldn't it be better uh -huh, to write a manual for printing? And you need a question mark. In the number but three, it's I have at the end. Be. But it's, it's at the end. Of, the end. Ah, I, I didn't say it. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. Wouldn't it be better to let the manual decide? It would be good. So, letter D here, if we change the dress code. Good. That's okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to close the breakout rooms because I think everybody finished. Check. It will Anything? be decide better to let the manager. Uh, could you repeat again, please? It will be better mm. decide to let the manager. Um, Only that this is a question. Yes. Question. So, uh, mm -hmm. question. I have, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Yeah, but I that's don't right. know. Okay. Yeah, can you repeat it, please? Uh, wouldn't it? All right, so everybody's coming back. We're just missing one more person. Uh, so I'm going to start with Brenda. Can you please tell us number two? Okay, number two is, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Okay, please uh, thumb up if you think that is correct. Thumbs up if you think that is correct. That's this is this reaction. Here. Thumbs up if you think it's correct. Okay. Can you repeat it, please, Brenda, just in case somebody didn't hear well? Okay. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Okay, that's correct. Number three, Brenda, give me a number from one to ten, please. Yeah. I have a question Seven. about the pronunciation of printing. Printing, uh huh. What is the question? Yeah, I I can say printing or also printing. Printing. 
I'm freeing in the document. Yeah, you can say that. I'm freeing in the document. Yeah. Ah, okay, you say. Yeah. And let me check. You said number three, right? Seven. Seven. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was confused. Three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven is Maritza. Number three, please. If would be good if we change the dress code. Okay, it would be good if we change the dress code. Can you, okay, if you think it's correct, please use a thumbs up. Okay, three people, five, six, seven, seven people think that is correct. Eight, nine, 10, 10 people think that is correct. So the majority, I would say, because I'm going to say that is correct too. So yes, that's right. Excellent, thank you so much. Maritza, give me a number from one to five. Uh, Blanca. Number, <laughs> number from one to five. Uh, three. Three, okay, number three, one. Two, three. Ana Mariela. Number four, please. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. Okay, thumbs up if you think it's, she's right. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. Okay. Eight people say that is correct. Okay, good. So uh, some people have doubts maybe, but this is the correct form. Okay, it would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. And the last one, that is a controversial one in the platform. Uh, Mariela, give me a number from one to 10, please. Five. Five, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Jackie. Number five. Okay, number five. Wouldn't it be better to leave the manager design? Can you repeat that, please? Wouldn't wouldn't be better to leave the manager design? Okay, so if you think that is correct, you can Give a thumbs up. If you think that is missing something, you can use the surprise with the emoji like, I think there's something missing or something that is not correct. Okay, so Freddy's, what do you think is the problem in that example? It's missing it. Is missing the word or the pronoun it. Aha, uh -huh. so Jennifer, where is the position of the word it in that sentence or in that question? But I hear she she mentioned it and no. No, she didn't. Wouldn't so, it be better to let the manager decide? Oh. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Okay, that's correct. So it was just the, the word it. Very good. So that happens, right? In the platform, maybe just one letter, one symbol. Okay. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, I am going to, to teach you one phrase that I learned uh, when I was receiving a training. I was a student. And the teacher told us, don't be sorry for learning. Okay, so when you are a learner and you make mistakes, you don't have to feel sorry. Okay, I am sorry because I'm the teacher, right? If I if I make a mistake, but even if being a teacher, I can make mistakes, right? So, don't be sorry for learning. Uh, you can be sorry for not doing your homework, for not participating, right, or for not paying attention. But for making mistakes, don't be sorry. Okay. Now, Only uh, what? Only God is perfect. Only God is perfect. That's correct. So thank you so much. Teacher, Class teacher, could you, teacher, could you repeat the number three? Because in the um, work, um, it is wrong for me. Okay, number three. What do you have for number three? Um, let me ask Karen. 
Number three, it will be good if we change the dress code. It would be good if we changed the dress code. That is a, the correct answer. And in the number five, the problem on the platform is that it's a question. And in the la after decide, you are supposed to leave a blank, a space, and then the question mark. So that was the problem, okay, yeah. in, the, in the platform. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's a little typo. It's not typo. It's an extra space. Okay. So now we're going to uh, check who's here right now quickly. And uh, I just need to know if uh, Merlin, you can stay after the class. Merlin or uh, Elizabeth. for the 10 extra minutes or the extra 10 minutes. Please let me know. If they cannot make it, uh, I would, well, I, the, three, the three girls that are working are together, Merlin, Elizabeth, Suleyma. So it will have to be one of them. So let me know quickly. So guys, before I we finish the class, I would like to know if uh, you have any doubts. We did have the time for the trivia, but tomorrow we're going to do the two topics that we're missing, okay? So we're going to go with science and also with technology. I promise. So let's see, we have Beatriz. Are you there? I'm here. Okay, excellent. Elizabeth? Mariela? I'm here. Brenda? I'm here. Carla? I'm here, teacher. Diana? I'm here. Floor? I'm here. Francisco? Here. Laura? Here. Arvin? Present. Nice, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. I'm here. Karen. I'm here. Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Merlin. Uh, Rolando. I'm here. Ruth. I'm here. Okay, got it. Ruth? Suleyma? I'm here. Was that Suleyma or Ruth? Uh, Ruth is here. <laughs> okay, Ruth, that was Ruth. Okay, Janari? Uh, I'm here. Jackie? I'm here. And Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. Great. So let me go back to the last one. So that will be all for uh, today's session, guys. Uh, tomorrow we're going to exchange in, uh, some opinions about the index cards that we, that we did yesterday so that you can use more, right? There would be better expressions. Um, so if there are no questions or comments, that will be all for today. Thank you so much for your participation and your attendance. I hope everything was clear for you and that uh, you have no doubts okay, about how to use this structure. That is a little bit confusing, right, uh, at the beginning. But with the questions and the explanation, I think you got the hang of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure to help you, you out. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Thank Have you, a good night, teacher. everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Drinking like a baby. What? Drink. <laughs>
Dream or bye bye. drink? Bye bye. Drink. Bye bye. Drink. 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 Goodbye, everyone, or goodbye, everybody. Both. It's okay, both. Yeah, both. yeah, uh, yeah, uh, both. Okay. Everybody or everyone, it's it's uh, it's correct. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Thank I guess you. that will be all. Uh, Bye -bye. <laughs> what happened with? Okay, Slava <laughs> didn't hear me. So I I think she's working. Yeah, she's, she's working. working. Yeah, that's yeah. why she cannot speak too much, but she was listening. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. Thank you. Take care. Have a good night. All right. So I'm going to double check, right, the explanation that I was... Uh, given for the use of would be better, would be better. So as uh, it can be seen there, uh, this is the exercise that we're doing. And the answers were, would you prefer to have a different schedule uh, for number one the example, then for the number two, everybody agreed that the answer was, well, it's a question, so. The capital letters should always go at the beginning right of a sentence. Wouldn't it be better? So we make sure that it is in the middle right after wouldn't because it's the subject. Wouldn't it be better to, okay? And then we use the infinitive to revise the manual before printing. So wouldn't it be better to revise a manual before printing? That is the number two. Then for number three, uh, this is a sentence and we are using, it would be good if, okay? Uh, so the verb goes in the simple past because we're using the second conditional here. Uh, so it would be good if the subject here, we changed the dress code. It would be good if we changed the dress code and period, okay? So that is the one that was a little bit confusing in the explanation because it's a different structure. Uh, we're using the simple past, okay, in the condition. Um, and then number four, start with it again, but in this case, in this case it's not um, if, but we're using the infinitive with the decision two. So we say, it would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. It would be, it would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. So that would be the number four. And the last one uh, is a question. Uh, in the platform, they, there was a little observation, right? That uh, it was, it was um, necessary to add a space at the end of the word decide and then um, include the question mark so that the answer could be correct. 
Uh, so I'm going to show you the way that is supposed to be done in the in the platform. So the question is: Wouldn't it be better to let the manager? Decide then space and a question mark. That is the way that it appears in the in the manual. However, uh, I mean the platform. However, the correct way it's with the question mark right next to the word, right? So wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? That is a question number five. Okay, so we save that. Uh, as the correct answers for the exercise. And now we go to the next part. I am going to clear all the drawings and go back to the explanation. So here it is. Okay, so as I explained, right, good better is used to, to express a strong advice or suggestion. Uh, like when you're telling someone, right, that another option is better or that person should consider uh, doing something differently or uh, getting another option, another choice. So for example, Let's imagine that in a meeting, right? Somebody, the, the, the manager says, eh, because of the COVID, eh, we are going to eat in separate places. And you say, okay, but we don't have a lot of spaces in the, in the, in the company. So wouldn't it be better it, uh, to eat at different schedules? For example, one group of people can eat at 11, another group of people could eat at 12 or at one. So we could have schedules and make groups and people eat at, in the same area, right? Just making sure to sanitize and everything. So in that case, you, uh, you express a, a strong recommendation or advice or suggestion to the manager uh, based on the situation, right? The examples here are, it would be better to let employees decide what processes to change. And the last one, it would be better to let a manager take care of the situation, okay? There are other expressions you can use in order to make a suggestion or to give advice or offer alternatives. And we have, would you prefer, that can be used with a noun, for example, using two nouns, would you prefer uh, Mexican or Chinese food? So with the two options or with an action, would you prefer uh, running or cycling? Two options of uh, sports, right? Would you prefer to, go shopping on the weekend or to stay home. Uh, so you offer two different options. In this case, we use the preposition two, right? Plus the infinity verb. Wouldn't it be better to, is what we have been practicing, right? Wouldn't it be better to, for example, if we're talking about prevention of the virus, right? Wouldn't it be better to have uh, different schedules for the employees, right? So the personnel can attend work uh, or the workplace at different times or at different days. For example, some people can work on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and the other people can work on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, wouldn't it be better to make a modification in the schedule? Uh, and the last one, it would be good if that is the one that we we're talking about, the second conditional, because we're talking about, we're using the verb in the past. So it would be good if we had 
a better salary, for example, in the company. It would be good if we had a better salary. That means we don't have a, better, a good salary. So it would be good if we had, we use a simple past uh, after the if, right? So um, that is the way that we use these three alternatives. And um, that's all for today's session. Thank you for your attention and have a good night.